going on everybody Jenna Ben 94 here welcome back to four wheel Fridays we're here with the 41 Chevy and hopefully today we'll get a little bit farther my hope is to get that cab all set up ready to go now last episode we airbrushed the internal panels the rear truck bed we did the dash as well everything is in that nice little buff color so it looks pretty decent for the internals we also have the chassis built up the engine is painted the radiator is installed today we're going to go ahead and glue down the chassis to the frame We've got the firewall ready to go, all painted, so we need a little dry brushing on that and get this thing squared away and look in the part. Now, we only have one more episode to go, so I'm hoping today to get this cab all detailed out, all the parts installed. That includes the door handles, the window handles, everything like that. We're going to start with the dash. We're going to glue this down to the firewall, and I can already tell that the fit is a little bit wonky, so we might have to do a little bit of fitting, but we're going to start. We're going to glue this all down. We're going to get the decal into the actual console area itself. We're going to go ahead and pinstripe a little bit and get this thing looking the part. Then once that's done, we're going to install it and move on forward. So fingers crossed, let's get this thing going. I've glued down the bench seat here to the chassis. The chassis is glued down to the frame. So now all we have to do is go ahead and paint up the seat. Now my reference photos show this to be um, somewhat of a dark brown leather color, but the instructions call out for semi-gloss black. I'm gonna go with a darker brown because there's a lot of black already here on the floorboards and the actual firewall itself, it's all black. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a very dark brown. That's kind of one of the fun parts of building car models in my opinion is you can kind of customize them a little bit try different colors, experiment, have fun with it. So I'm just going to use some tape. We're going to mask off everything that's not going to be a dark brown color. We're going to pull out that dark brown and paint up this actual bench seat as well as the back seat as well. All right, everything is taped down. We're ready to go. Let's go ahead and get out the airbrush. We're going to use this red brown by Tamiya. It should be pretty decent. Add a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, which I'm desperately running low on. And we're just going to mix it up and we're just going to layer it down. So Cue that time lapse again. Let's get this all painted up. So with the seats painted, guys, I think it's time to go ahead and finish off the cab. Now, I still have to install the rear seat, and I have to install the bits and pieces like the door handles, the window handles, 
things like that. But let's just go ahead and give it a quick dry fit and see how it looks. There we go, seems to fit nicely in there. Yeah, that looks cool. And this truck's really coming along. Now I thought we'd actually test fit the hood just to see how that all kind of goes together. And it looks like it doesn't fit as well as I was hoping it was going to. We're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, fitting here and maybe a little bit of sanding. And we're gonna have to play around with this just a little bit to get this all lined up. But I think it's gonna look pretty sweet once it's all together. Now the rear truck bed is actually a wood color. So we're gonna use a similar technique as I used on my Albatross. We're gonna take some oil paint and we're gonna mix up a little custom color. I'm gonna start off with the basic color that we used for my Albatross, which is a little bit of burnt sienna, a little bit of yellow ochre, a little bit of raw umber, and we're gonna add in burnt umber as well. I'm gonna mix all this together and we're gonna see what kind of color we come up with. If I don't like it, we can add a little bit more yellow ochre, which should lighten it up just a little bit. So let's see what we can get out of this. Nice, I love this. This is actually a really cool color. You can see the wood grain kind of popping through. We're gonna come back maybe after this is more or less dry and then we'll detail it up a little bit too. I also did, as you can see here, the side wood stake fences as well. Now we're gonna move on to the windscreen and the rear window. Now there is a frame around the rear window that I've already masked off, we're ready to go. We're gonna airbrush that with this buff color to match the interior color. We're also gonna do the exact same thing on the front windscreen because there's a section right on the very top of that windscreen that needs to be airbrushed as well. So we're gonna get all of that kind of squared away and settled in before we actually install these windows. The front window doesn't look to be that bad. We have one strip that's actually right down the center of it, but that looks to be, at least from my reference photos, that looks to be a chrome color. The outer frame is gonna actually be the external color. So we're just gonna focus on the very top part that glues into the roof. So let's go ahead and move on to the inside of the cab, guys. While all that's drying off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and install the door latches and the window handles. We're gonna get all those glued in. And luckily for me, they're all chromed, they look great. We're just gonna drop a little bit of glue on each of the locating holes and just drop those parts in. So the paint is all dry on the windshield. Let's go ahead and install that into the cab itself. There's also one latch on the front dash. We're not gonna put that in yet until after we put this windscreen in. Then we'll just pop that in, shouldn't be that big of a deal. Otherwise, yeah, it looks pretty decent. With the front windshield in, let's go ahead and install the rear window as well. We'll just press that right down inside. It is recessed, so it should fit nicely to where it needs to go. And we'll put a little bit of glue on that on the inside around the edges. This truck is really coming along. Everything is fit together decently enough. Some of the locating pins are a little shallow, but that's okay. We'll muscle through. All right, it's finally time to install the rear seat. Now the seat itself is a bench seat, and then there's an actual backrest to that that hooks into the back of the cab. We're gonna glue that in now. And there's two locating tabs on each side of the door panels, which this fits right into. So I think we're looking pretty decent. A couple of drops of glue here and there should actually help to get this all glued in. And I think we're gonna call it quits for today. The inside door panels don't actually have any locating tabs to um, tell you exactly where they're supposed to go. So I used my best judgment and I eyed it and I lined them up to the outside of the window. I'm hoping that's okay. Everything on the inside is finished, we're done. All we have to do now is glue the cab, onto the actual chassis, glue that hood on, and then we're ready to start painting this up. We're gonna do a two-tone color, we're gonna do gloss black, and we're gonna do a uh, nice blue color. That should be pretty decent. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. We will see you back here next Friday for the finale and the reveal for Chevy Truck Month. So far this has been a really fun kit, and I think I might wanna do a few more cars after uh, this one is all finished up. So until next time guys, have some fun, build something crazy, and we'll see you back here on the next Four Wheel Fridays. <music>